Good day and welcome. I'm McNigel from Gamer and we are playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Without any further ado, let's continue. I'm searching the Banuk Banuk camp. So This has to be the Banuk camp that Vilgen told me about. Okay. So what happened to the other mercenaries he sent? The machines are docile. It's like they've already been overridden. Okay, just want to... Mark the cell. Okay. Yay. Okay. The machines in the grove will not be The machines in the grove will let you walk right up and put your hands on them. Okay, probably someone yeah, I need to speak to. Okay. Long health and hard eyes. Shaman, you're trying to understand the machines here too? Yes, Nora. I'm taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines, there are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. Oh, useful. Well, guys, I just just talk to him. I don't like spending so long away from the hunt. It makes my muscles twitch. We should head north. North where the ice and snow calls. We should head north. North where the ice and snow calls. Some other Werax after our herd. Will claim first blood, but it will require cunning. Some other Wearax after a herd. Claim first blood, but it'll require cunning. 
Don't assume the hunt will be easier just because the land is warmer. The hunt demands full preparation. Okay, where is the main person in this camp? Scale sharp. In Banur, they already sing songs about the hunts I have needed. Skill melts like ice. We should get back out and trap the herd if we want to maintain our reputations. Sing to the ghost. Ah. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. These lands are filled with noise, but it is just noise, no sounds. I don't like spending so long away from the hunt. It makes my muscles twitch. Tomorrow we'll see what the shamans have learned from the machine spirits. Investigate the camp. Talk to the Banuk. Okay. Hair is getting thinner. Hard to believe the Banuk live further north. <laughs> Going down fast. Perhaps the machines are glad to be separated from their herds, too. May there be songs in the land. I am the best hunter of my wearer, and none shall wrest that honor from me. To see these machines... Up close like this, it's... Grazer dung. I'm sorry? Frozen grazer dung. This ravager led me here. I chased it down from the rivals, where it killed a great ice hunter. Tore him in two. The challenge I accepted. But when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't that a good thing? Tikuk says it's a gift. Pfft. What is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. <laughs> Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> The blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban-Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be before they grew angry. I, I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing and we listen to the machine songs. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard 
their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We are not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Teacook, have any other outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. Do you mind if I look around more, Teacook? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. Hello. I'm glad to see you well. They say even the ice in the grove rings with the blue light, with the spirit's call. Hunt well. Keep your warmth. Spirits have presented their machines to us as gifts, but only in the grove. At this grove, anyone can commune with the machine spirits as the shamans do. Spirits reveal themselves to you. There, a signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I'd better look into it. the mountain again. Hopefully those things are going to start. The bone talks are just waiting. A good sign, I guess. Nothing 
shard purses. Did Vilgen send you? <sighs> I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. You bunch of chuffs. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp, before the machines tear it apart. They've already started attacking. The hunt is back. The machines are angry. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. Now you'll hear my song, Machine. A sharp song. The hunt is back! And rend at me. I don't fear it. Fall down! Nice sound effect. He's not gonna be happy about this. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? 
When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, T. Cook. Okay. Dark. I had that on too. Okay, I think I'll you know, go to the I'm gonna call this episode here. Yeah. I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Please remember to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Stay safe and happy gaming. Goodbye.